Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting the lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you will need a flame of your own. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> to learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> oh, we'll need a pyromancy tome to learn more advanced pyromancies. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. If this were the great swamp and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. <laughs> to learn pyramine and py... <laughs> oh, prithee, art thou good yours, master? I am Yuria of Londor, a close friend of his. Thanks to thee, your soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. Another matter. That a lord art thou not? Bearer of the Dark Sigil, and our Lord of Hollows. For the time thou remainst, our lord, we of Londor shall serve thee. And I, of course, am also thine. That a lord art thou not? Bearer, for the time thou and I of till we meet again, may the dark sigil guide thee. some time. I'm Leonard, the ring finger. Remember me? I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the dark wraith survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do?
you found a proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were a dangerous woman. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, give yourself to Rosaria of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> now invade and, and come on. <laughs>
yet to give in, eh? Good. The Firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these Lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one. A right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig, then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep, and they made him a Lord of Cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Such as a Lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> At the foot of Lothric Castle, an old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads, if you've the stones for it. <laughs> you haven't given up yet, then you're a brasher less than I thought. You can make better use of this. I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> and a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. This sad cadaver no need to be coy. Have a closer look. Listen, this might pique thine interest. Before I was a Lord of Cinder, I was a student of transposition, the process of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. A forbidden art that once left a foul stain upon Corlin's honor. It is an art that grants powers once thought unattainable. Most transposing kilns were lost with Corland, but this place is a crossing for all manner of cursed objects. If thou happenst upon a transposing kiln, bring it to me, quick. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession seen better days, but, methinks, it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now?
Now, now, do not be away over long. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be? Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Ashen One. Huh. Welcome her speak thine heart's desire. Welcome her speak very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment. Let these souls withdraw from their vessels. Manifestation. Farewell, Ashen One. Ah, how may. Welcome her speak. Farewell. Oh, hello. It took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. Goodbye, Mothers. <laughs> ah, it is good. What needs? Till we meet again, may the dark
Who is there? Is someone there? Anyone? Oh, please, whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. Then I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. You've gone and rescued her, have you? How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs>
Hello. How do you do? I'm Anri of Astora. Unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and travelling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We're well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the Cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Oh, yes, Horace. He's not very talkative, but don't think ill of him. He is an upstanding, kind-hearted knight, a fine partner for this gruelling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find... May the flames go... <coughs> Good to see ye and good what needs. Pretty be careful, I don't. <laughs> are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Do you wish? 
Oh, you've brought me a braille divine tome. Now I can tell new tales of miracles. Tales of the greater miracles can be quite the epics. What fun we will have. <laughs> Have a pleasant jet, I pray for.